Hi, just a word of caution. If you do prolonged fasting, um, I do intermittent fasting every day. Um, but I do prolonged, not as much as I want to because I have prescription supplements I have to take with food. Um, so I don't get to do it as much as I want, but I do fit it in about, I don't know, maybe once a month or so. I used to do it like every week. I, I love it. It's like the greatest thing has changed my life. You can read up on it. But because of, um, these supplements, I really just can't do it as much as I want to. So I've scaled back and I did it two, yeah, like two days ago. And, um, normally when I get up, oh, and this is a 48 hour fast, by the way. Um, prolonged is different for any, for everyone. It can be 24 hour, it can be 48, 72. Um, I haven't yet hit 72 yet. Um, that like is my goal, but, um, when I do the 48, I'm so, um, usually I get up and I'm like dizzy a little bit. I get my water sprinkle a little um sea salts or Himalayan pink salt and you know get my electrolytes and I'm fine um but I would I will wake up a little bit like dizzy um this time the other day I woke up I actually was not dizzy I felt fine um I went to the bathroom I think it's because I went to the bathroom and sort of like when I urinated, maybe that had something to do with it. And I like lost all my electrolytes. I'm guessing maybe is what happened. I don't know because this time, like this has never happened before. I got up. I was not dizzy at all. Uh, I went to the bathroom. I peed. I came back to do my electrolyte water and oh my God. Oh my God. It's like all these um, fever like symptoms came over me. I broke out in a full body sweat. I'm sweating profusely everywhere. I suddenly feel dizzy, like I'm going to faint. I vision is blurry. Um, I literally almost called the paramedic. <laughs> I felt nauseous. I leaned over the sink because I thought I was going to throw up. I, I literally have no idea what happened, but I was sweating bullets. Um, nausea. Um, I forced myself to. Like, cause I literally just thought I was going to faint. Um, I forced myself like to pick up the water, which was a huge difficulty as weak as I was. Um, I got like a little bit of salt in it and I like got it down. Um, miraculously, because even like, I just literally thought I was going to faint at that point. Um, and then I went to the bathroom again. I was sweating profusely again because I wanted to like sit down and then just in case I had to throw up, I wanted to have like a bucket. <sighs> so I ran to the bathroom. No, I didn't run. I walked. I hobbled like an old lady. Um, and I was, I sat there for like an hour and I, and then I started getting chills. I got goosebumps. So it was these 
weird fever-like symptoms. I was going literally between sweating bullets and chills. Just, just exactly like if you have a fever or a fever coming on. I mean, this identical symptoms. Um, this has never happened to me before with prolonged fasting. So I'm not sure what happened, but this went on for like almost two hours. It was, this was probably like one of, if not the worst, like sick experiences because it was this um, like perpetual nausea that wouldn't go away. Like I wouldn't throw up, but I felt nauseous. And it's like I just felt nauseous for almost two hours. Um, th- th- it was like literally a nightmare. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. Maybe I'm going to like message my primary care or something and just like let her know. Because I do prolonged fasting pretty regularly, like the 48-hour thing. And this has never happened before. Um, especially being that I woke up and I felt fine, you know, and then after I pee, I suddenly don't feel fine. And so anyway, I guess all this to say, <laughs> like, just be so careful. And then like, always, um, I always make the mistake of not drinking, like not hydrating enough during the prolonged fast. Always make sure you have enough electrolyte water on hand. Um, and of course, talk to your provider. Like, I'm obviously going to do that because this is a uh, this really actually shook me. I almost called nine one one, and I uh, <clears throat> I couldn't even stay standing at one point just to drink my water. I could barely even twist the um, the salt shaker on my Himalayan pink salt. I could barely even twist that. I mean, this is how weak I was. Um, so, yeah, I guess just a word of caution. And I wanted to document this because it was a first. I mean, I've literally been prolonged fasting for oh, about three, probably a little over three years now. On and off, I don't do it like as often as I want. Like I said, I have to take um, supplements daily supplements but I do try to fit in once a month once every three weeks and it's fine and this time mm, mm, um okay I think that's it um and then I'm trying to remember the point at which I suddenly was able to um I don't, I don't know. I just got up in the bathroom and I basically had to force myself to like drink this water with a little bit of salt. And eventually this, I, I, I didn't snap back, but I basically had to nurse myself back and it took a long time. And then I forced myself to eat like a half a banana and then that really helps. And then, um, oh, I did take my supplements. <laughs> I don't know if this hurt or help. I have no idea. But I forced my, I took um, with a, a little bit of yogurt because you have to take it with fat. So I had a little bit of yogurt and then I did my supplements. And I don't know if that hurt or help it because I got even sicker. I felt like... Um, but when I was able to get more water in me with more, you know, with the electrolyte water, I, I felt a lot better. It just took a really long time and that's never happened before. It was bizarre. This was just two days ago. This was just Friday. September 20th, 2024.